Hello everybody and welcome back to some brand new NASCAR 21 Ignition gameplay here on the channel. In the first episode I showed some Talladega gameplay. Well today I'm going to show you all disciplines of racing in NASCAR 21 Ignition. That's not a play track. We got road course racing here at Sonoma. I'm going to show you a mile and a half track. I'm going to show you a short track. I'm going to show you as well Bristol dirt so uh, you may be wondering when is my career mode going to start and i know a lot of you of course on my channel are here for my career mode from nascar heat 5 where i modded the crap out of that game um so it's going to be a while i think because there is a lot of work to do to get this game prepared for me wanting to do a career mode. There needs to be a lot of fixes. The AI need to be worked on uh, as well as you can see I just completely dumped the 77 of Justin Haley right there. But you notice that we got BJ McLeod running first and like Chase Elliott are running like 30th. And this is a very common thing at every single racetrack. And I am absolutely 100% not going to do a career mode if they're going to have their AI like that here uh, in this game. So I'm sure uh, from what I'm hearing, I thought I was on the day one patch. I'm actually not apparently on the day one patch whatsoever. So uh, in the last video, I was wrong about that. So that was actually promising to hear because there's a lot of work, at, like I said, to do on this game now. And I actually, this is all gameplay on a wheel that you're seeing, but I ended up going to a controller off camera because I found the wheel being so tough and um, for some reason you cannot turn the steering assist off which is another weird thing here so I had every assist off except for steering assist which was forced to be on um, so like I said a lot of polishing a lot of fixing for this game there's a ton of glitches Probably not as many as Cyberpunk 2077, by the way, but there is quite a bit. I've had my game crash quite a few times, unfortunately, as well. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's a lot of work to do now, especially with uh, the AI mainly not giving you room sometimes. Here at Sonoma, I actually got forced into the left side wall a couple of times as well. The AI, they seem to refuse to try and avoid accidents for some reason. And you're going to see that showcase coming up here in the Bristol uh, clip that I got a little bit later in this video. But I think this right here is the highlight so far in its current state of NASCAR 21 uh, ignition. This is the highlight of the game. Road racing, it feels really good on a wheel. It still needs some work. Like, just in general, on a wheel, this game needs some work. And uh, But nonetheless, like I said, I think this is the most fun part of the game so far for me. The AI, um, definitely the best it is is on a road course so far. And it's actually not that great even on a road course. So, like I said, they need some work. But I am very hopeful that day one patch uh, is going to be the answer to that. But we have honestly no idea what that day one patch is is going to bring to us so we'll have to wait and see now uh, as you can see uh, this is one of my favorite cameras other than the roof cam here now is uh, we were uh, up into the third position here racing as Kyle Larson it was just a five lap race also in this current state of NASCAR 21 ignition there is no stages which is very fascinating uh, and that obviously by the time this game comes up must be in the game now here as we came through the carousel obviously in NASCAR Heat 5 you come through this carousel you hop up on two wheels nine times out of ten so it's nice to not deal with that anymore obviously here so uh, the car drives so much better the physics are just downright better here on NASCAR 21 ignition I found uh, but like I said there is still lots of work to do here in this game. I was having fun overall though here at Sonoma now. As you can see though, they kind of, um, this is on maximum AI difficulty and they have points where they're really, really slow and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense now as I always get frustrated when I can just hop into a, a random game and go against the maximum AI difficulty without practicing and nearly beat them on the first try. And this is exactly what's happening. I'm up to second place on the final lap here in Sonoma. And the AI at road courses, way too easy. AI on a mile and a half, way too difficult and same for uh, uh, as well as a short track and whatnot so you definitely currently can't go to every track with the same ai difficulty uh and expect to be pretty good so uh you're gonna have to change the difficulty i had to turn it down to like uh the second highest at some tracks here just to be semi-competitive now so and some of the mile and a half so you're actually just full throttle the whole time and even though i was full throttle the ai i was still running 40th five seconds off the base even when i was full throttle so that was a little bit frustrating uh and that's when i was like okay we definitely cannot run the hardest ai difficulty at every track but the road courses of course you can you see me make a mistake right there that's my favorite thing about the physics and handling handling model of nascar 21 ignition is you don't get away now with just hammering the throttle at a road course no you got to be delicate use throttle control and whatnot you can lock up your brakes which is really nice there i had a little bit of a lock up here into the final uh 
hairpin, but we still end up actually winning the race here in Sonoma. This will be my first win, actually, ever on NASCAR 21 Ignition. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the uh, post-race celebrations. There is no burnouts, unfortunately, in this game either. Uh, and that's something that I was hoping to see present in NASCAR 21, uh, but didn't happen from the looks of it here. Now, as you see, the post-race celebration. So they got a really nice atmosphere going on. Kyle Larson, you know, climbs their car. You see smoke flying. Then you're going to see the fire come out of the backboards there with Sonoma. That looks impressive. Uh, it's a little bit short. Um, I was hoping that would be a bit longer, but now we're going to jump through into the Homestead Miami track here. So uh, this is the number one track I wanted to try for the mile and a half because this is my favorite mile and a half track on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. Uh, so I wanted to get an idea of how uh, the mile and a half are now. And if you're on the roof cam like I am, I'm always going to be playing on the roof cam. And that radar, I think, definitely could be worked on a little bit. It's still uh, a little bit hard to tell where they are compared to your car basing it off of uh, that radar. Like it says the 41 there in the right side and when it didn't have an arrow above it i thought he was like already side by side with me but i was completely wrong he was actually uh not side by side at all so uh definitely would like to see that radar maybe tweaked a little bit it is helpful it still gives you an idea of what's going on behind you and whatnot but like i said definitely uh could be tweaked a little bit to help you a little bit more if you don't have a rear view mirror in your game after I got past uh, Brendan Gone though in the 62, we were able to run down the rest of the pack here, and they were straight up pack racing. It was a scrap there, uh, as I was side by side with the 15 of James Davison, and I noticed a trend here from the Talladega video I did. So pack racing is not what you want to be doing because if you're in this big pack, you're going slower uh, because everybody's checking up, and you can see that up at the front, everybody's breaking away from the pack. So. Uh, pack racing is actually not what you want to be doing in this game in its current state here uh, at this moment in time here now as it was cool actually to be pack racing though at Homestead Miami now uh, as we went down into turn three right behind that 14 of Chase Briscoe you saw Austin Dillon kind of go down there onto the apron a little bit weird now but uh, he manages to get it figured out I'm not fully sure yet if the AI make mistakes and cause their own crashes I really hope they do uh, but I have yet to see that happen here but all I've been doing is little 15% lap races and uh, not even 15%, sometimes like 5%, I think it is. Uh, it goes like 2%, 5%, 15, 25, 50, and 100. So uh, just a heads up to Motorsport Games, please give us an option between 25 and 50 sometime in the future here. That would be really, really helpful because I feel like 25% races are too short and 50% races are too long here. So that's something I would like to see maybe like a 35% race or something or a 40% now uh, as we came through to the back of Eric Gamarola, you can just see how stunning this game looks graphically. It looks great. It feels great from a player perspective. It just all comes down to the actual gameplay and the AI and whatnot and how they react to you. And then I actually get straight up dumped here into turn three. I think that was my fault, uh, but you got a good idea there to see some mile and a half racing there uh, as everybody was just in a big pack there for a little bit now. So I'm going to quickly show you guys the pit stop animation here. So we come in. Uh, this definitely is something I'm expecting to be polished here because it's a little bit rough here with the at least entrance sequence into the pit box here but uh the pit stop scene i really really like you you see the little gopro camera here on the guy on the left rear tire uh and then of course you're gonna see as well i damaged my car so a, a guy is actually gonna come out and start hammering the car now there is some animations where a guy will bring out a full-on chainsaw and just go to work like you saw in like martin truex jr a few years back so i uh, didn't have it in this one but my guy's just hammering away on the car and then we were ready to go back out on the track but instead of go out on the track we're actually going to go to the next track bristol dirt in my opinion uh this is one of the toughest tracks on the game on the wheel here now uh, as you can see the ai definitely a little bit weird right there on this opening lap but there was multiple attempts before this where i just kept on spinning out kept on hitting the wall uh and just crashing in general so uh it was it was very tough to say the least but i ended up slowly kind of getting better you see a big mistake right there and then i actually am able to at least collect it got in the inside wall a little bit here uh but you just got to be so so delicate on the throttle that's the big thing here and when i say delicate i mean unbelievably delicate here uh now as you can be uh more aggressive on i racing on bristol dirt than you can with this game currently so uh, i was like i said slowly getting the hang of it i think the most laps i was ever able to put together was like uh, and you're about to see right here, this was my actually my best, uh, most clean 
fun on Bristol Dirt so far as they got into the back of the 14 of Chase Briscoe here. But uh, just trying to make sure to not slip that car. You really don't want to slip that back end out, to be honest, here in Bristol Dirt. Because uh, sometimes when you start getting sideways, there's no hanging on to it in this game. What I really like uh, about Bristol Dirt is you see the dirt build up on the car. The car is already just extremely dirty and it also builds up on your camera. So it gets harder and harder to see. So that's uh, something really cool and something I just popped into my head. Uh, by the way, if you kill the car, there is currently no way to retire from a race or get back to the pit lane. So your only option if you basically kill your engine of your car is to just restart the race instead of like dnfing so another thing that needs to be changed before this game releases here on october 28th or 26th for the champions edition now so uh but yeah i mean overall bristol dirt is fun when you can get the hang of it here now is i mean it's a good time racing ai i got forced into the wall right there he gave me zero room uh but we continue to move our way forwards now uh as we come through up into p31 so i wasn't running very good obviously but i was just happy that i was able to put a few laps to together without having some type of accident here now but you're about to see uh my accident here in just a second it wasn't really an accident it was just a little spin out now uh as we went through down this front stretch i was happy though we were gaining time and then right here i just got a little bit too aggressive and around i went then i got clipped by somebody uh i thought oh no maybe i didn't but uh into the inside while we went so now we're trying bristol this track I found almost unplayable so far because the AI just do not care if you're on their outside or anything. They won't give you room. And I actually just straight up crashed the car down the back straightaway and we have a huge accident. That wasn't the game. That was just me uh, being too, uh, too much a hunter bottle. And around I went in. Oh my goodness. Look at this just absolute disaster we've got going on here. But it gets better because AI are hauling the mail and they do not slow down. They don't try to avoid anything. They just start piling on in and we have a massive accident here in Bristol Dirt now. So many cars upside down. Oh my goodness, a Rick Ware racing car just came piling in Cody Ware uh, and oh my God, Daniel Suarez as well. Here comes a 48 of Bowman in there. I saw Chase Elliott somewhere and just about half the field is upside down now. So I didn't make it long in Bristol before I said I am not doing this. I went into Martinsville Speedway uh, and this one is Martinsville, one of my favorite tracks on the NASCAR Cup Series uh, schedule in general. So I was very intrigued uh, to get a feel for this track. And we started down here in P39 and it was a challenge once again. Short tracks in general, definitely going to be a big challenge on NASCAR 21. I feel like now uh, as I tried to make a three wide move down into turn one, they take a really weird line, the AI do. Like they decide to just kind of like go a lane and a half up higher than what they should be doing compared to real life. So uh, they don't definitely uh, look very accurate at Martinsville currently now uh, as we were up the inside of William Byron. His car looks really good. It shines with this, these graphics in NASCAR 21. I feel like now uh, is look how beautiful that car is now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, just graphically, I mean, I was just astonished at points uh, in this gameplay with the overall visuals and presentation of this game i will be actually still putting out a review i think i'm going to though delay my review all the way until i know we have the day one patch of this game uh then i will give my honest opinion i actually ended up unfortunately crashing the car there uh at the end of this one but that's all i have for this video here of a gameplay with nascar 21 ignition let me know in the comments if you want to see a specific track with a longer race see how the ai are and whatnot cautions and stuff i will absolutely be down to do that in the next one i'm going to show off probably the paint booth and i will try that to have that up today actually so uh, if you guys enjoyed you know what to do and i will see you guys all on the next one have a great day everybody